Tesla's Model Y, the company's best-selling vehicle worldwide, has received a significant mid-cycle refresh this year under the codename, Juniper. While the new iteration brings noticeable improvements in styling, efficiency, and ride quality, the most consequential upgrades for the crossover may still be in the works, potentially reshaping the EV landscape. According to Panasonic Energy, Tesla's long-standing high-voltage battery partner, the automaker could see a major leap in driving range within the next two years, driven by anode-free battery technology. If successful, this advance could extend the Model Y's range to levels previously reserved for ultra-premium EVs, altering competitive dynamics across the US and global markets. The Juniper Refresh, more than skin deep. The 2025 Model Y Juniper update addresses multiple dimensions of the vehicle, from aesthetics to engineering. Externally, the crossover has been subtly reshaped, featuring sleeker lines and more aerodynamic mirrors and bumpers that reduce drag and improve energy efficiency. Inside, Tesla has refined the cabin layout, enhanced materials, and upgraded the suspension and chassis for a more comfortable and controlled ride. While these improvements are meaningful for existing customers, analysts suggest that the real story lies under the hood, or, more precisely, inside the battery pack. Tesla has long relied on incremental improvements in chemistry, cell format, and pack design to maintain its edge in the competitive EV sector. The Juniper refresh may represent a transitional phase, setting the platform for a more revolutionary leap in energy density and range. Panasonic's Anode-Free Breakthrough Panasonic Energy revealed on Thursday that it is developing anode-free battery cells, a move that could dramatically increase energy density. Traditionally, lithium-ion batteries rely on a graphite anode to store and release ions during charge and discharge cycles. Graphite, however, comes with cost, weight, and supply chain constraints, particularly since China dominates global graphite production. Panasonic's approach eliminates the graphite entirely, freeing up space for additional active cathode materials such as nickel, manganese, and cobalt, which could directly increase energy capacity. In theory, this innovation could enable Tesla's rear-wheel drive Model Y to extend its EPA-rated range from 357 miles to nearly 450 miles on a single charge, a nearly 25% improvement. Achieving such range would place the Model Y within striking distance of ultra-long-range EVs like the Lucid Gravity and General Motors electric trucks, which utilize battery packs exceeding 200 kWh. Crucially, Tesla could reach this benchmark with a smaller, lighter, and potentially cheaper battery pack, maintaining its characteristic advantage in cost efficiency. Industry Context A Race Toward Next Generation Cells While Panasonic's announcement is significant, it is part of a broader industry trend toward higher energy density cells. California-based QuantumScape, in partnership with the Volkswagen Group, is pursuing a similar anode-free chemistry, aiming to resolve issues of lithium dendrite formation that have hindered commercialization. Michigan-based startup Our Next Energy has also experimented with dual chemistry packs, producing prototypes capable of more than 600 miles of range in BMW X models. These parallel developments indicate that Tesla is not alone in seeking to push the limits of lithium-ion technology, but its close collaboration with Panasonic could allow for rapid deployment at scale. Panasonic has suggested that anode-free cells could also enable smaller, lighter, and cheaper battery packs without sacrificing range. This dual benefit, higher capacity for the same footprint or equivalent capacity for lower cost, aligns with Tesla's broader strategy of producing mass-market EVs at competitive price points. Moreover, reducing reliance on nickel and other strategically sensitive materials could help Tesla mitigate geopolitical supply chain risks a critical consideration as tensions over critical minerals intensify globally. Implications for Tesla's market position For Tesla, the stakes could not be higher. While the company continues to position itself as an AI and robotics leader, its core revenue remains tied to the production and sale of EVs. The Model Y alone accounts for a substantial portion of Tesla's global deliveries, serving as a cornerstone of the company's volume strategy. By extending its range, Tesla not only enhances the practical appeal of its flagship crossover but also reinforces brand perception, particularly in an era when EV consumers are increasingly range conscious. Competitors are not standing still. Nissan plans to release a next generation Leaf later this year, while General Motors is preparing the launch of a redesigned Chevy Bolt in 2026. Rivian, Tesla's high profile American rival, will introduce the R2 crossover. 
positioned as a direct competitor to the Model Y, in 2026. In this context, a significant range boost could provide Tesla with a measurable edge, particularly among buyers who consider long-distance driving range a primary purchase criterion. Technical and Commercial Challenges Despite the promise, anode-free batteries are not without challenges. The removal of the graphite anode changes the electrochemistry and requires careful engineering to manage lithium plating, thermal management, and cycle life. The cells must maintain stability over thousands of charge cycles while ensuring safety standards are met, particularly in large-format automotive packs. Panasonic has indicated that it is targeting commercial deployment by the end of 2027, which would allow Tesla ample time to integrate the technology into future Model Y production runs, potentially alongside other efficiency improvements in motor design, aerodynamics, and software-based energy management. If Tesla successfully implements these cells, the company could realize a combination of benefits, increased range, reduced pack weight, lower raw material costs, and potentially improved vehicle handling and efficiency. This would strengthen Tesla's pricing and margin position, particularly as raw material costs and supply chain pressures continue to impact the wider industry. Battery strategy in the broader industry context. Tesla's move mirrors broader trends in the EV industry. General Motors, for instance, is developing lithium manganese rich LMR battery technology to reduce nickel content, starting with trucks and SUVs in 2028. Similarly, other automakers are exploring solid state batteries, silicon dominant anodes, and other next generation chemistries to achieve higher energy density and faster charging. The push toward innovative battery designs is not merely about incremental improvement, it is a strategic necessity to remain competitive in an increasingly crowded market. Consumer and environmental impacts. For consumers, the potential benefits are straightforward longer driving range, less frequent charging and potentially lower purchase costs for vehicles with equivalent range. For Tesla, these improvements could translate into higher sales volumes, particularly among buyers who have historically been hesitant to switch from internal combustion engines due to concerns about charging infrastructure and range. From an environmental perspective, anode-free batteries could also have meaningful implications. Higher energy density packs require less material per kilowatt hour, potentially reducing the carbon footprint of battery production. Lower reliance on graphite and nickel may also mitigate some of the environmental and social issues associated with mining these materials, particularly in regions with lax labor and environmental standards. Strategic timing and market pressures. Timing is critical for Tesla. While the company has a well-established lead in EV production, competitors are closing the gap with modern platforms and high-quality EV offerings. The Model Y Juniper refresh sets the stage for a more radical leap in the near term. By combining incremental improvements in efficiency and ride quality with a future battery breakthrough, Tesla can maintain its competitive position while signaling technological leadership to the market. Analysts suggest that this two-step approach, refresh now, revolutionize later, helps Tesla manage both supply chain risk and market expectations. The Juniper update keeps the vehicle relevant in 2025, while the anode-free battery sets the stage for a transformative 2027-2028 launch, creating a multi-year runway of product appeal that competitors will struggle to match.